I, uh, hello? Yeah, yeah I personally want to apologize. No, nothing. That's all. Nothing. Yeah, you know, just, just like it works. No, what's up, guys? How you doing? Um, Groovy. Thanks. All right. Yeah, yesterday I was in Brooklyn. I hadn't been in Brooklyn in a long time. Um, I saw this band, Phosphorescent, who I really like. And um, I was overhearing hipster phrases like, yo, man, that's really killing my vibe right now. And um, I thought to myself, wow, I'm just like you, but not really. And then I was like, man, is there anything more hipster than hating on hipsters? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, uh, so I'm leasing a car temporarily. I picked it up yesterday, but I had a really bad experience. Have you guys ever heard of the Fair app? It's like you basically, it's like a short term lease. You're not locked in for like 36 months. So I go there last week, and the guy's like, we don't know where the fuck the car is. So I'm like, great. Uh, yeah. It's like, I've been working here four years. He's like, we've never had an experience like this. I'm like, this is amazing. Uh, this is just a bad omen. I'm not coming back here. Of course, I went back there. and Now I got a Honda, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it hasn't broken down yet. So all right. I think it's in good shape. Um, um, I, I, uh, I wrote this Facebook joke. I was like, hey, I'm starting a Facebook group. It's called Jews Who Love Eggnog. Uh, um, you know, um, details coming soon. And, dude, like, I got like 25 likes. It was a joke. And then my friend emailed me. He's like, when's the group starting? I really joined. I'm like, now I'm like obligated. This is like writing a script. I have no idea what to do. Oh, jeez. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, many of you guys know I have like a, I'm a habitual gambler. Uh, tomorrow I'm playing in a, in a poker tournament in Monticello at Resorts Casino. And I always said that gambling is like the only addiction where when you're doing well, people encourage you to keep going. You know, it's like, yo guys, I won like two grand playing one two limit. Dude, you're on a streak, keep it going. It's like, would you go up to a guy that was passed out at a bar and be like, Dude, you're on a street. Drink this whole bottle of vodka. <laughs> oh, oh. Man, I think this is a good set. I'm not even recording it. Shit. Um, oh, you see, uh, oh, this is this was terrible. I saw this on Facebook. Somebody's uh, like uh, husband died prematurely of a heart attack, and one of her friends said on the in the comments, "I'm so sorry, Jen." My heart goes out to the family. <laughs> and I was thinking, that's a little bit of an insensitive condolence. Because if your heart is so amazing, I mean, you could have given it to him. You know, and he's changed hearts. Let the doctors work on his heart and then give it back to him. Oh, shit. Oh, wow, I'm so happy I'm doing well. I've been riding this streak for a long time. Um, my, 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 well, we're kind of like friend with benefits, but my girl lives in, in Hoboken. And um, I've, uh, I figured if it ever to end, I'm like, like, I'm not leaving because I could never afford to live this close to the path. So I'm just going to keep it going. But she said to me the other day, she was like, you know, do I look fat in this dress? Dude, there is no right answer to that. So I was just like, look, um, this is like a multiple choice test and you're providing the answers, you know? Like, yes, uh, yes, uh, like, all right, you're fit, but you know, a little bit coming out on the ends. What do you want to hear? No, you're thin, you're really thin. You're like Karen Carpenter thin, like, uh, it's just so, um, I, I, I think, what do I have, like a minute or something? Or Okay, I just have, this makes my blood boil, oh my God. It's just crazy. You guys know the whole baby, it's cold outside shit, right? The whole controversy. This, these people, I'm like, I'm like, I hate guns, right? But in this case, like, I'm like, with the First Amendment, right? I'm like that crazy gun nut. Like, this is, a da these are dangerous people. They're, they're PC fascists. They are in, in they're, they're terrible <laughs> to our First Amendment rights. There was a kid in Columbia, a comic, they halfway through his set, they fucking cut off the microphone because he made a joke that they didn't agree with. We need to take these people. I will volunteer. We put them in vans. We bring them to the North Arctic, the, like the northernmost part of, of Canada, and we drop them off there in the nude. It just has to happen. <laughs> because if we don't, then it's like going to be like, well, we're banning Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because it promotes bullying. It's just got to stop. There's no end to this madness. Please. Thanks, guys. All right. <laughs>